Welcome, y'all. Twine Eagles 215 reporter back at y'all with another video. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm going to give y'all a few seconds to find it if you don't know where it's at. Go ahead and look for it. Find it. Tap somebody. Ask them where is that subscribe button at. Hope y'all found that subscribe button. Also, if you can, guys, smash that thumbs up button, guys, to help me get this video to 15 likes. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, guys, we got Nelson Aguilar. And this is it's a lot to say. Um, it's a lot to go on about. You know, we can start with a lot of different things when it comes to Nelson Aguilar, our slot receiver. We can start from when he was missing a lot of passes and we wasn't feeling him. You know, we can we can go back to when, you know, he had a great year when we made that Super Bowl run. You know, we could just – it's so many places we could start. But let's start with Nelson Aguilar is a great slot receiver. You know what I mean? He's a great slot receiver. He's a great locker room guy. You know, um – they basically, you know, are, this is a business. And by it being a business, it's no feelings and emotion involved when it comes to business. You know that and I know that. You know, it's all about, um, you know, getting a bang for your buck. And that's what this is. You know, everybody might not agree, but this is how it works. You know, so it's like... Why would you go buy something for uh, five dollars? We can go to the dollar store and get it for a dollar, you know, and it basically works the same, you know. So in this situation, it's basically saying if we could replace Nelson Aguilar's talent with a guy from the uh, draft, which is tomorrow, as I as this video dates, which would be Thursday tomorrow. Would that $9 million cap hit be such a risk to us? It wouldn't be a risk because, see, they have somebody to replace him. And they don't have to pay him that amount of money. So, the thing about it is, can we replace Nelson's Aguilar's talent, his run after the catch, the deep ball, you know, him just, you know, running around and catching the ball, you know, it's just a lot to replace. It doesn't seem like it right now, but with him, you got to get a new guy in. He has to learn the system, you know, and it's a lot that comes with that. But at the end of the day, the Eagles do not want to pay Nelson all that money. So, you know, as a fan, you know, we hate to see things like this go on. And it's we hate to get you know, emotionally attached to these players because, you know, we're following on Instagram, we're, you know, following them on Twitter, you know, we're checking, seeing what they're doing, you know, liking their post, you know, we become like a, a little family. So it's really hard to just let somebody like that go. But when sometimes when it's dealing with business, it's easy, you know, so it's hard to understand that for us, but and Howie Roseman in the in, in, in Jeffrey Laurie's shoes, they're looking to get the best bang for their buck. And, you know, hopefully they can maybe get that in the draft, maybe what they're looking for as these reports come out. Now, Nelson Aguilar is, like I say, he's a great player, great locker room guy. He knows that he doesn't have to be the number one receiver. You know, he goes out there and does what he can do. He's a good slot receiver. He's not the best outside guy, but he can play outside. Um, Nelson is a pretty decent blocker. So, you know, with all these attributes that I named, we have to find that guy in the draft. And, you know, sometimes, like I said, it's not about winning, you know, uh, in the future. We might be poised to win right now this year again and repeat the Super Bowl. So when, you know, losing Nelson Aguilar, that could maybe hurt us. 
you know, just like in two set in 2017 when we won the Super Bowl, if we didn't have have Nelson Aguilar, who else would we have plugged in? You know, uh, you know, would they have made the same production? We don't know that. So, you know, with that being said, you know, whoever we get, I feel like he has to cover his immediate production now. You know, it's not so much he covers it three years down the line because, you know, time is of the essence, you know. So, you know, it's a lot going on with Nelson. And um, I, I can I, I can understand his mind probably is going in every different kind of way right now because he don't know if he's going to be an eagle today and a free agent tomorrow. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's kind of a tough thing, especially with the fans. So, you know, like I said, you know, um, hopefully, in my opinion, he stays and, you know, I hate to say it, but, hey, let's just pay the guy. You know what I mean? Let's just pay him, you know. But I'm not going to be against how we – with keeping some money in his pocket, you know. So it's a bittersweet thing, you know. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. Happy and sad, you know what I mean. But, you know, you do want to see the guy go on and get the monies that, that he is worth. You know what I mean? You don't want to see nobody get underpaid for their contributions and their abilities to make the team better. So, with that being said, y'all already know what to do. Make sure y'all leave y'all comments down below to let me know what y'all think about Nelson Aguilar if you don't watch the full video. Let me know what y'all think. Should we, should we get rid of him? Should we keep him? You know, and like I said, the money, the money is the big, the money is the big thing. He's due 9.9 .9 million. So let me know what y'all think. Twan Eagles 215 signing out. And it's always fly Eagles fly.